Why? Uh, Today in Nigeria, uh, if you are not a police officer, whatever you're saying is not important to them. Yes. But in advanced countries, the belief that the, the, the gown is the most important exactly, aspect exactly. It, 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 yes. for them to succeed yes. in their operational works. How can this be implemented? You are right. It, in this you see, you see, I was in England between 2007 and 2008 on, on the Commonwealth Fellowship. I work with the police uh, in post mode. Each time, every one once a week, we we'll go to what they refer to as clinic clinic visitation to county police station. It is there. Myself and uh, two of my hosts, who were Britons, we will be there. <clears throat> we will begin to tell the police our research works, and they imbibe everything. They they, 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 they want them to come and train their people. In training them, they imbibe most of the culture. Look at the look at the theory of a community police. It didn't start from the police. It start from researchers. Look at the the issue of uh, the model I propounded, which I call the Trinity Policing Model. It came from me. And if you look at the model, which I will display in the evening, you see that if the police, if there's the nexus between the polity and the police, the police and the public, then what goes to the society, of course, will be seamless. So that those are the things that we don't have in this country. And the reason why I say that some of us feel bad that uh, most of what most of what we do in the university remains at the level of theories. Because they don't listen to us, and it's not as if in the past I've not I, I've consulted uh, and I still consult for the police in Nigeria. But in most cases, you, 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 the Nigerian factor plays out in most of these things. And uh, if we can't be talking of reform in the Nigerian police without bringing police scholars to the reform. It will not just work. It will, they 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 should be they should be they should be communicating our research works in form of strategic and uh, logistic and uh, what they call it operation in the society. People should be thinking of more things to do. Talking about for them, then in fact that should be that synergy. It operates everywhere. For example, August this year I will be in England, uh, especially Liverpool, to be able to address uh, some police uh, personnel and and uh, police researchers as well, all over the globe. The, the cover comes up every year. So, so this kind of a thing happens over there. But in Nigeria, it, it's not the so. That's, I think it's the fact that what you refer to as Nigerian factor anyway. So I have a question in regards to that, because that was what was bothering me, that the academic is, is in such a way that um, whatever research they do stays mm. in the academic mm. world, it doesn't get to the public. Mm. So my question now is, as you have conducted this research and you're about to deliver the lecture, how will it get to the management of the police and how will they effect and implement all these recommendations yes. because it is really needed yes. in the Nigerian Thank you so much. Uh, in the past, I have two books on the police. Uh, the first book was, uh, the former was written by the former IGP, Muslim Smith, IG Muslim Smith. Then the last one published in 2014, the former was written by the current uh, Minister of Interior, Tanda Bazao who is likely to be around today. So, in other words, each time I finish writing my book, I send copies to the to Abuja, to IGPs in Nigeria. But what we expect them to say, come, uh, Professor, let's discuss. Nothing is happening. <laughs> Nothing is happening. But uh, like the lecture this evening, uh, the lecture will be streamed. And, uh, or, uh, even then, the people can download it. But beyond that, I'm going to pack, like I used to do, copies of the Nogra lecture back there and send them to uh, the IGP in Lagos, sorry, in Abuja rather. So I think we, we continue to do this because of so many factors, but I hope we will get there one day. And so don't you think that for an inaugural lecture like this, IGPs and um, police commissioners should yes, be yes. at I was, I was I was on a program this morning in which I met with the uh, police CP in Ohio State. Uh, he said because of uh, the uh, there's, a, there's a program going on today and it's at the barrier of a uh, former governor of Western region. Uh, so it will be involved. But he promised that he's going to send representation. He loved, we were together on the program, we discussed security. So he really loved it. And uh, we did not only invite the Nigerian police, we, al we also invited other security personnel as well this evening. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. We're so blessed to have you. You're welcome. It's our pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.